Let us proceed. The dead angels of rain upon up this. Today will be a short, uh, short session. Let to say. Dallas multi pass themselves just after the plague started those bastards this area this is where the servant community lives we would work for the nobles all day and return here to our homes at night I guess they thought it was worth the risk trying to protect us from the plague to let us do the plague thoughts now everything is gone. Uh, and that's pretty self-explanatory. Ask me. Yeah, what happened here? Why is this area in such a bad shape? After the whaling began, we got caught between the quarantine and the Black Lake barricades. We were at the mercy of the plague thugs. Some of them were uh, just to be friends, but the plague took their minds. Dropped them mad. They became like animals. Then locks are shown up. Tell me what is your locks are. Locks are easy. I uh, have work well. That explains everything, really. Not sure where he came from. He showed up after the first few plague thugs started going mad. Locks are looted in their wake. After a while, when the place was disrupted, Locks are just started killing people and taking whatever he wanted. I think he realized the guards don't care about us uh, uh, servants. Uh, I think I'm one of the last survivors. I have no reason to say uh, he's killed my family. They can everything. I just want to know he's dead before I try and get to the city core. Well, revenge. Revenge is a powerful motivator. But it needs to fully. Okay, what will I be paid to kill this orc? I... I have nothing! Nothing at all! All I can do is help you! Will you help me? Please, I beg you! Will you help me? Okay, we're not going to help him. So, yeah. Why didn't the guards help you? 
Nobody cares about us here, but here the block like nobles better get to them some stuff. As long as nobody gets near the market, they don't give a shit. What do they care if some peasants lose their lives? <laughs> Working for them ever again. Okay. I don't have time for this bullshit buy. Please! I don't have anything for us to turn. You have. You can turn to the door and get the fuck out of here. That's when you can turn. Okay, let's loot. Although, if he is to be believed. Okay. This is the fuck. Dogs have taken over the district pretty much taking over completely. What is in this bag? Uh, okay. Well, I am almost out of Quarrels or whatever you want to call them. Uh, let's go upstairs. There is no upstairs. Okay. That makes things easier, certainly. Die! the hardest difficulty. Yes, we are. Alright. Yeah, because I kind been feeling the pressure lately. Victory will be ours! I cannot shoot from upstairs. Yeah. Yeah, it is just Well, maybe it's the enemies. It must be that. Maybe it's not I'm more powerful, but rather the enemies are more weak. Because I'm on the districts I should have gone to. In the first place. Okay, let's set the... Thugs! Eviscerated. Let's continue gathering shit. And there is no upstairs. I'm not going to complain. I actually like that there is no upstairs. And if you want to know why, I'll tell you. Because exploration. Well, I am a... Well, maybe, obviously, if you have watched more videos, you know that I'm a compulsive explorer. Uh, and that means... we lose a lot of time. And that is... not an exaggeration. I do lose a lot of time. Mainly because I explore things that are really not interesting places, but I have to. I am compelled. Okay. 
How is my party doing? Ah, we're doing fine. Very fine indeed. Okay. Let's go this way. So, I less places to explore. It's actually good for me. To be truthful, that's also why I don't play a lot of open and open world games because uh, I tend to go inch by inch in a or a square feet by a square feet. Obviously that's almost impossible, but I do. Let's say this was the map of an open-ended game. I would go up... Okay. I would go up... I go here. Then I jump to the left and go down. And I do that until... Every single part of the map is... Rebuild. That's what I do. And that takes a long time. I did that on Fallout 3. And I will do that to New Vegas. Whenever we get to New Vegas. Okay, that house. Let's leave it. Let's see why is it labeled. The ruined tower. Uh, okay, let's enter. I'm here to supposedly fix the tensions between the peasants and the no. Holy shit! Okay. It's time to use this. Maybe this. No, oh, no. Certainly these two. Everything we got, really. To buff and debuff. Skip the no mage armor. Finally scare his ass. And we shall see if we get to doing damage. Attack Lino! Okay. He's wounded at least. Let's see if Lino can. Why is my. My kid? He's again. Okay. I know why he's doing that now. Yeah. Okay, let's talk to it. Uh, to change I need 
Jutsu. Yeah, differently. right now do it okay you know is what does this does okay You cannot kill yourself, your own father. That doesn't matter. Okay, there she goes. Let's try to hold him again. Okay, finally. It was a tough fight, I have to tell you. Yeah. That man... No, that was the half-orc. Uh, he killed two of the companions. Yeah, he did. Right, magical shield. I give her that right away. Cause if she shifts it, doesn't really matter, does it? The head of Loxar. Okay. Why not? Let's keep it. It's a trophy of our greatness. Okay, it's time to summon the creatures. Hey there, dear. Yeah. Please want a creature. Yeah, creatures are pretty useful. They act as a buffer, as you saw there. Lino was able to cast a lot of spells because Loxar was uh, was busy trying to kill the, the summoned creatures. So that worked out actually. Fairly good. Another magical shield. Okay. Well, it makes sense actually. Because this is the rich man district one would think if there are any magical items or anything close to relics they would be here but not in the beggar's nest that would be logical Something I like is logic, or at least pseudo logic. That will do as well. Are 
where you give the appearance of being logical. Okay, we're holy crap! Okay. Well, he died quite decently. Let's toss this thing. Okay. Look at that. What are you doing? There you go. Well. I will take special pleasure in this. It's going to kill me. Run. Okay. I'll have your life. Holy shit. Okay, I see the splash on the air Why aren't they attacking? Holy crap. Okay. And I can tell you that that cloud at least killed their momentum. That, that was good. Yeah. At least that killed their momentum. Anonymous ledger. All right, let's go. In place of a signature, this letter bears the mark of an stylized reptilian eye. It strikes you as somehow familiar, as if you have seen it before, perhaps in a different context. You examine the text closer. Read this letter well. Commit its words to heart. For all, I am your master, and there are those who would seek the waters, the people of the eye. Lydia even has promoted some adventurers into the militia, and sent them out to seek the creatures for the cure. They are already successful ones, and they must not be so again. You must stalk them for every shadow, pursue them at every turn. Those creatures are to be set loose and hidden wherever they are out of reach. Do not fail me in this. Remember, I hold the power to grant you life in this place of death. Your lives are much to deny. Long live the people of the eye. This note should be shown to someone in authority. No, I won't do that. I like the ruthlessness of those men. Okay, I think my boar got killed. So, let's summon another. It's good that they are completely replaceable. Potion of the Antidote. Okay. Yeah. You just summon it's quite like Pokemon. <laughs> you just summon a creature, let it fight, and if need be, die for you. And then you forget it and bring another one. Because why not? Okay, last house in here. Okay. 
Yeah, I just get completely and utterly destroyed. But the panther is again acting weird. Silver ring. The ring is of little value. Okay. And it gets sold. Sold! Alright. Time to enter the true blood district. Let's see. 